Ladies and gentlemen, just another real quick video. Ugh, it's kind of hard to pick up with one hand. Ugh. Ugh. All right. I'm recording these with my phone. Oh, I thought I broke something. It was just this popping off the screw. I'm recording these with my phone with no editing, so yeah. I still want these front a little bit tighter. I don't like how loose that is. It's like way too loose. It's like not even pulling itself back up all the way. Around the back does mostly. But the issue is, I moved my shocks to the bottom hole to give me more ground clearance because I was running it in some pretty deep um, snow and I wanted all the ground clearance I could get. But anyway, real quick video, just showing you guys how to, oh, wrong side, Ugh! showing you guys how to adjust the ESC. This is pretty common knowledge, and anybody who's ever done this on an ESC, it's pretty much the same process, um, but in case you guys lost your manual or bought it secondhand without a manual, here are the, it's like the table of, uh, table of contents, I guess you can call it, almost. So the dark gray, as you can see, variable one, lipo, variable two, punch is on four, the brake is on 37 and a half, it has forward, reverse, and brake, and motor rotation is on normal. That is the stock ESC settings. Now, I did notice yesterday when I was running it, that I was not happy with the amount of brakes that it had. So I went and I upped it to uh, all the way up, which is only 50%, which should be a lot better. And I also raised my punch from four to nine. And I have not tried it yet, but I'm about to go outside here in a second and see what that runs like on 6S. Um, I also put some braided cables on here just to make it look a little better. And I uh, Velcro tied it to this little pole thing just to keep them there, keep them from flopping around. But anyway, so the programming ESC. There's a button and there's your switch. This button is your set button. You wanna hold that down at the same time that you turn it on. Keep holding it, variable one, variable two. And then one, two, three, four. It's saying that it is on four. Click it again. Oh wait. No, it's saying it's on nine. The long beep means five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Push it again. One beep. So it's on level one. Push it again. Now it's on level two. Push it again. Oop, push it again. Level three. Push it again. Push it again. Long beep means five. Push it again. Long beep and one beep, that means six. Seven, eight, and that means level nine. To set it, just turn it off. And it is now set. And that is how you do it with all of these. So say you want to change your brake strength from 
uh, the stock 37 and a half to 50. You do the same thing. You hold it down, turn it on. Keep holding it. Variable one, variable two, and let go. And it's telling us it's on option three. Push it again, it goes back to one. It's now on option one. Push it again. It's on option two. Push it again. Now it's on option three. And to set it, just turn it off. And it is now set. So that is the stock ESC, the BLX 185, 150 amp. And yes, it is a 150 amp, not a 185 amp, like a bunch of people keep saying. It is a 150 amp. The model number is 185. BLX 185. And that's it. Real quick video showing you how to program the ESC.